Welcome to Maxwell TV. This is Grace Yan, and as we know, the real estate market has changed so much. Here we are talking to Rob Van Overmeer with Team Maxwell Realty. So Rob, I hear from many realtors these days that the real estate market has changed. Is that true? It has changed, Grace, and I will tell you that change is inevitable, I think, for any industry, including our real estate industry. And I think for those realtors who embrace change, they're the ones that will find success. Right. Rob, where do you see the future for realtors? I see the future for realtors in understanding that we're still a face-to-face -face industry. At some point, you know, if, if you want to buy a home or sell a home, you will need to meet face-to-face -face with, with a professional. But how we get there has so dramatically changed. I mean, now everyone goes to the internet first, and we, of course, I call it internet dating. You know, we basically, we communicate online now, questions are asked, we're using social media. So the point is how we get there has changed, and that has changed for realtors who understand that. Mm -hmm. So do you see realtors as salespeople? At one time I did see realtors as salespeople, but not anymore. Now in today's place, realtors actually represent people's interests. Today with, you know, all of the technology we're using, with all of the lawsuits that are now out there, and real estate being, of course, the largest investment of your life, there's no room for error. And that means that realtors who have the knowledge and expertise are going to represent their clients' interests as opposed to just selling them a product. Right. Where do you see the market going? Well, I don't have the crystal ball either, Grace. I wish I did. Uh, but I will tell you this. I don't know next month how many people are going to buy a home. I don't know next month how many people are going to sell a home. But I do know there will be people that will buy and sell. So what I focus on is this. Those people who are going to buy and sell, they're going to want a professional. They're going to want someone who has systems, who has technology, who has an online presence. And if I can demonstrate that to people, then obviously some business is going to come my way. And therefore, I don't have to worry too much about you know, whether the market's slow or whether the market's fast. Right. Your team seems to have a game plan and embrace technology. How do you get your team members to follow the same playbook? Well, our team members all understand the importance of technology in today's marketplace. Let's face it, if you aren't using any technology, and believe it or not, some realtors out there are not, it's very difficult to A, service your existing clients properly, and B, how is it possible for you to meet new clients that might be entering into the marketplace? So, as I said before, you know, with the internet dating, so to speak, our realtors understand they need a technology and online presence to attract new business, and that's how they're all in the same place playbook. Right. What is the one piece of advice you would offer any realtor who wants to increase their business in today's marketplace? I think the best advice I can give you is take a look at your current tools. If your current tools are actively assisting you in managing your existing business better, and your current tools are helping you attract more business, and that kind of technology and online marketing is working for you, well, don't change. Keep doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But if you're lacking in those areas, you seriously need to make some changes. Maybe you need to look for a new brokerage that offers those, but do it fast. What do you see with the Competition Bureau? Well, Grace, next year clearly there's going to be some change. Um, I don't know how that's all going to play out, but I do know this. Let me use this analogy. I drive a Toyota Camry hybrid. You do? Wow. I do. Awesome car. Very sophisticated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't just take that car to anybody to have it repaired. I want to take it to somebody who understands the technology and can fix it properly. Mm -hmm. I see that happening next year in real estate. The, the need for someone to hire a professional who understands the market, who has systems, who's knowledgeable, who can protect their interests. Whatever happens with the Competition Bureau, that's not going to change. Well, thanks, Rob. Thanks for joining me today with Maxwell TV. And this is Grace Yan signing off. Thanks, Grace.